actually sold for the first five months of this year over 37,000 hybrids. That's tremendous. Next highest number was all of 2010, where we sold under 36,000. Now, what's driving these sales? So we offer great products, but Bill, I think the key is we offer choices. So right. rather than forcing people into one individual type of hybrid, let's give them choices. I heard that you have an astounding like 14-day turnover rate that in the auto industry, that's pretty remarkable, isn't it? We think a decent turnover rate is like 60 days. That's kind of the benchmark, 60 right? 60 days. 60. Under 60 days, we're saying, wow, these vehicles are really moving. So 14 days it's is just stunning. incredible. Yeah, that's incredible. why you're smiling. Oh, yeah, so oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, oh, yeah, bank, that's money it? in the bank. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're coming off the hauler into the dealership and being sold. And these are made in the USA, huh? Yep, they, they are They are made in the USA. Our C-Max and C-Max Energy are, are built in Michigan. So the, the real cool thing, Go they're Michigan. right outside my back door, which is fantastic. <laughs> Can you describe maybe what a, a hybrid buyer is like? Is, are they really like green? Do they walk in sort of like green tint on their skin? Or you what? know, that, that, that's a great question. I would say the hybrid buyer is moving away from just being green. Right. And they're just customers, Bill, like probably your neighbors, my neighbors, who are like, hey, I just want to get great fuel economy. Right. And we show them this product and tell them the fuel economy they're going to be like, I want that product. And they find out after the fact, wow, it's a hybrid. You know, you mentioned the green people, right? The, the, the green consumer who are a key part of our consumer base. Right. They, yeah, sure, they're buying hybrids and plug-in hybrids because they like the image. But your everyday consumer... Um, I'm going to call it the majority of the population. They just want to be the vehicle to be affordable and save money. And right. that's why the hybrid's working for them. And that's why our numbers are skyrocketing because right. we're appealing to that group now. These cars are beyond just good in terms of their fuel economy. And you're a big instrument in making this happen. They're more sustainable in terms of the materials they use. Is that right. not correct? Right, exactly. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I sure can. Fusion is a great example. So in our Fusion... We have really pushed for the use of recycled material in our seat fabric. Really? Right? Yeah. And the recycled so are they material. Old jeans or something? No, they're not. <laughs> so this is what's going to surprise yeah. you. They're actually pop bottles. So you could actually take pop bottles and recycle it and you spin it into the yarn of the of the seat fabric. So those plastic bottles that we all feel guilty using and hopefully we put them in recycling, force taking them and putting them in our seats. In our seats. That's very cool. It's, it's very cool. And I got to tell you, Bill, a kind of a brag point for us. The Fusion, which is a global vehicle, yes. right, is the first global vehicle to adopt recycled fabric in all of the global products.